Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson. And one reason why I'm, I'm bringing forth this message today is because a lot of people have been praying for money. Yes, they've been praying for material things. They've been praying for money. They've been praying for material things. So today, I'm, I want to I shift it to tell you that what is grace? What is the grace of the Lord or or what is the favor of the Lord? Now, now, now we, we've been getting the ideas that money is is better than favor. You're wrong. Favor is better than money because money runs out. Money will be of no value no more in these last and evil days. You're gonna either receive the mark of the beast or die. Hey, glory to God. And when I say receive the mark of the beast or die. So what is the favor of the Lord, which is called grace? Hey, glory to God. Because grace is better than money. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Because what is what is what is what is grace or the favor of God? It's it's an act or kindness beyond what is due or usual. Is approval, support, or lightning, or, or someone or something. It's like a, a feel or show approval or preference for. Now, the, fir the first sign of favor or grace, when the Bible says that Noah, but Noah found favor in the, in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. And other other virgins say, but God, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. So I'm telling people that the favor of God is better than being to, is better than having a million dollars. Cause a million dollars can run out because people don't don't know how to invest. And if you're not a investor, the money gonna go like you're drinking water. But when you have the favor of God over your life, that will never run out. Hey, glory to God. When I say, when you have the favor of God, it will never run out in your life. Now, Joseph, hallelujah, he was a man that had favor. He had favor among his brother. No, he had favor among his father because his father loved him more than he loved his brother. Because the reason why, because he was, he was the, the son of old age. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Amen. How, glory to God, Rachel love, hallelujah, how how Jacob loved Rachel more than Leah. Hey, glory to God. Now, Leah had a lot of kids, but, but Rachel had two. She had Joseph and Benjamin. Benjamin was a younger, and, and, and Rachel died having, having Benjamin. So, the Bible say in, in Genesis 30, 39, 40, hey, glory to God. And it say that, so Joseph found favor in the sight of a, and attended him. And he had made him overseer of the house and put him in charge of all that he had. So Joseph had more favor in the sight of God. Joseph was favor among Potiphar. Like I mentioned to pe people all the time that Joseph had four P's in his life and he had a fifth P which is is his title hallelujah first he was put in the pit by his brother because the brother said the brother said here come the dreamer so they put him in the pit and when they put him in the pit glory to God they took him up and give to Israelite to bring to Egypt hey glory to God then glory to God uh, how Potiphar were looking for a slave and then Potiphar found, f see, see Joseph, then brought, hallelujah, uh, Joseph to the house. So, so from, from the pit, hey, glory to God, amen, to Potiphar's house, then his missed, his wife lied that, that Joseph raped her. Hallelujah. So from the pit, glory to God, hallelujah, to Potiphar's house, then they arrest him and put him in the prison. Hey, glory to God. Then two men had dreamed. So he was he had favor while he was in the while he was in the in, in the jail, while he was in prison. That the other P now. So for the pit, 
Hey, glory, the part of our house, glory to God, to the prison. So two men, two men had a dream. Hey, glory to God. One dream that the that the, the basket was on his head and the bird came and eat the basket off his head. That means he's going to die. Then the other one uh, dream that uh, it was a grape and it was pressed. That means that he going to restore it off his, off his, his duty back to Pharaoh. So this man forget about Joseph when he told him his dream until when, when, when Pharaoh dreamt, he dreamt famine. Hey, glory to God, was coming to the land and no one, not even the musician, the seuss, the, the, the seusser, whatever you will call him, hallelujah, amen, didn't have a, didn't uh, 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 interpret the dream of Pharaoh. So the, 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 the baker, the, the, the butler say that I remember this man, I remember this, this kid, hey, glory to God, he was a Hebrew, he interpreted our dream, one died and I got restored, and say, Pharaoh said, call him, and then when Joseph was interpreting the dream, he glory to God, Pharaoh say that, who, who can I trust to be the second in charge, and then Pharaoh say, you are the man that can bring or or bring prosperity to my to my country to my land called Egypt and then so we see that all the peas came into into perspective we got he was put in a pit by his brother he glory to he was bought by Potiphar in Egypt and bring home to Potiphar house he glory to he was put in a in, in in the in a prison hallelujah by part of a wife and then from the prison he went in, in a palace and from the palace he became prince he became the second in charge so joseph had favor joseph wasn't a rich man hallelujah until when he got his his authority become a second in charge in egypt i tell people Favor is better than money. You can go, you can go to the, you can go to a car dealership, and if have the favor of God over your life, that car can be yours. But you have to be in the favor of God. You have to be in the plan of God, because the Bible said, "The blessing Lord make you rich, and had no sorrow to it." So if it's a sorrow, God didn't give it to you. He go to God. Hallelujah. So Joseph. And the Bible says, and Joseph found grace in his sight, and he served him, and he made him overseer over his house and all that he had put in his hand. Now, Isaiah, now Isaac was given favor of continuation. What he did, he was given favor, grace in continuation. And the Bible says in Genesis 26:3. And the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm bringing this, this message to you because we got to focus on the favor of God rather than being a, being a millionaire, rather than always bugging God for money. I want the favor of God. If the favor of God over your life, money don't matter. It goes to God because a cat upon a hill belongs to God. And the Bible say in Genesis uh, 26, 3, it say, sojourn, sojourn in the land, and I will be with you and bless you. Hey, glory to God, bless you for to you and to your offspring, and I will give all these land, and I will establish the oath that I saw, swore to Abraham, your father. Now, this is, this is, uh, Biblical 101. Abraham was not a Jew. Abel, Abraham was a Gentile and became a Jew because he trusted in God. He listened to the he listened to the voice of God and went, hallelujah, and followed God. God called him out of a of a of a pagan, a pagan land called Ur. And God made him a Jew. So, so Abraham was not a Jew. How people was born a Jew, he was a Gentile that became a Jew. So in, in Exodus 3.21, and I will put, I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptian when you go and you shall 
not go out empty. So before the children of Israel left Egypt, God restored them with material blessing because the favor of God was upon them. In Exodus 33, 17, and it says, And the Lord said to Moses, This very thing that you have spoken, I will do. For, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know my name. So the favor of Lord is better than money. Because you can carry favor with you everywhere you go, but you can't carry money with you everywhere you go. So I'd rather have the favor, I'd rather have the grace of God upon my life. Amen. And also in Proverbs. Now, who gives favor to us? In Proverbs 3, 3, 334, it says that toward the scorner, he is scornful. But to the humble, he gives favor. So to get this favor, you got to be humble. You got to show humility. The Bible says that the, the, the humble shall in the earth inherit the earth if you're proud you're not going to inherit the earth amen in proverbs 8 35 it say that for who so ever find me find life and have favor have grace from the lord so what is favor what is grace is the favor of god is the approval he is a is a preference of god favor when we say we stay in the will of God in Proverbs third chapter verse one and four it say my son do not forget my teaching but let your heart keep my commandment for length of days and years of life and peace they will add to you let not let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you bind them around your neck and write them on the tablet of your heart so you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. So I'm telling you, favor is better than money. What is favor? Favor is, is preference. God's approval. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says, No good thing with, with he withhold from them that walk uprightly before God. Hallelujah. And also, Ruth, favor does not discriminate. What I say, favor does not discriminate. Because the Bible say in Ruth chapter 2 verse 10, then she fell on his face, then she fell on her face, bowing to the ground and said to him, why have I found favor in your eyes that you should take notice of me since I am a foreigner? So, so, so what this is, favor does not discriminate but favor show favor because if you're on the Lord's side God will give you that favor 